Hey, it's Jay from the Unnamed Podcast. I'm not usually one for following trends, but I did a couple things on epilepsy, and they got a lot of um, attention. I'll start off my entire bit by saying I am by no means an expert. I have no clue what I'm talking about. I just know personal experience and a little bit of social stigma that I want to get out of the way. So don't take what I'm going to say as law, just as points to do further research on. I've tried to do as much as I could, and I wasn't able to do a lot. But what I will start by saying, don't put shit in our mouths. If you see someone having a seizure, make sure they're safe. Make sure the head is safe. Make sure they hit. If they're going to fall over, make sure they do so gently. I will link. Uh, today I found out did an excellent video talking about just that. I will link that in the description. I don't quite understand where that whole concept of putting something in somebody's mouth. Well, I get the some form of logic around it. It's the idea where somebody having a seizure. It's basically to make sure they don't hurt themselves further i.e. bite their tongue, wreck their teeth. The video I'm going to link down below explains that much better than I ever could. Basically, you don't have enough strength in your jaw to get through your tongue. As someone who's had a seizure, a couple seizures, I can confirm that. I can promise that. Something else to keep in mind, somebody diving into a seizure, obviously, I cannot confirm this firsthand because I don't remember going to seizures. I just know I wake up and everyone's around me going, you had a seizure, and I go, oh, cool. Uh, people going into a seizure present as they're drunk, sometimes. Everything I'm saying, there's a caveat of sometimes, because everyone's case is different. Isn't that just frustrating as hell? It's almost like mental health and brain health is weird and complex. Who knew? The myth, I shouldn't say the myth, the concept of someone seeing an aura before they go into a seizure. I know in my case, it's never been true. I can usually feel that I'm going into some sort of seizure or I, I'm having some sort of episode because I start going, I start getting cold, physically cold, like my lips drop like, Five ten degrees. Uh, my limbs usually feel incredibly heavy. I want to take a nap. And then I know I've had a seizure because my limbs continue feeling incredibly heavy. It's almost like carrying around 20 pound weights on every limb. And though yes, I am in a wheelchair, doesn't mean that I should feel that. Like I can't confirm my legs feel a bit heavier than probably most. There's something incredibly disconcerting about just how heavy your limbs get. Even more bizarre is how heavy my arms get. Seeing as I have no motor issue whatsoever there, I do have joint damage in my right shoulder, and it definitely intensifies by like 20% after I've had a seizure. Uh, something else I've noticed sometimes I experience sometimes I experience mild vertigo. But yeah, the main reason for this is I want to drive home the fact that you shouldn't just shove things in people's mouths. Aside from the fact that it's gross, especially right now with the state of the world and whatever, um, you run the risk of just somebody damaging their teeth and whatever you're putting in their mouth. Anyway, short blog post today, I just felt like I had to say something. I know it's... There's no special, like, it's not epilepsy time or anything like that. It's just kind of I needed to voice a couple things. And either five people listen to this or 40 people listen to this. Either way, thank you. Hopefully you take my words with some sort of weight to them. And again, I don't know what I'm... I'm not a doctor in any way. Everything I know is anecdotal. Or first hand experience. And like I mentioned, I will link that video. I've mentioned that a lot. But it's a really interesting watch and a really good watch. Not everybody who suffers from seizures is photosensitive.
it's, I don't know what the percent is, but depending on the part of the brain that is affected long term, you might have little to no reaction to flashing strobing lights. I know me personally, I have a very minimal reaction. Usually if they're affecting me, I'm already in the throes of about to go into a fit. And if anybody has an issue with the fact that I just said fit, how else would you describe it? Sorry, I realized that I would just went off center there. I was fixing my like, how else would you describe it? Fit is an appropriate way of detailing it, I guess. Because you lose control and your body goes into spasms. So just remember something I forgot to mention earlier. So I'm recording this out of the fact, so I don't know how you'd know that because I was on the same spot. Uh, epilepsy has a correlation, not a causation, but a correlation to heightened levels of depression and anxiety. Uh, it is a brain disorder, well, disorder. It is a brain anomaly, after all. Your body doesn't quite know how to react to certain emotions and how to deal with them. So everything is either heightened or dulled. Yeah. Anyway, this is Jason Garden of the Online Podcast. I love you.